onion, garlic. Looks like a cloud of love. Yeah. James, this smells incredible. Bro, <laughs> right? Not bad at all. Right, we got My recipe. Special for the night. <laughs> My recipe, you know? Mm. Welcome to this edition of Beyond the Plate, brought to you by Lightspeed, featured on Canada's 100 Best. On today's episode, we are in Montreal's Griffintown at beloved Italian cafe Mano Cornuto in the heart of the neighborhood. We'll be talking about running a restaurant during a global pandemic, and we'll be cooking up a veritable Italian feast. Stay with us, it is going to be sensational. Tyler, what's the best part of having three partners? The fact that we all fill a void and each one of those positions is extremely necessary for this awesome spot to have its feel and energy that it does. And without the four of us being so different, it wouldn't have the same balance. Vito, can you tell me how this entire Mano Cornuto Cafe team came together? Well, in not so many words, it's been a project that I feel I've been working on for a very long period of time. But when I talked to my partners, they had similar projects and very similar ideas. So we decided to put our ideas together. So our brand definitely represents service. Before everything else, you really feel the energy and that's pretty much what, what the, the end result turned out to be. The main reason that I'm drawn to this world is the experience. You learn to read the person and really get a feeling for what they're expecting. And that changes throughout the day and sometimes you just gotta roll with it. And I think it's that spontaneity that makes it uh, intriguing and fun. Chef, tell me a little bit about what it takes to be a great leader. You know, like we all get this thought inside of our head and when we're young cooks that like, you know, you gotta come up a certain way through restaurants and this and that. You know, I went through stuff that I would never put my cooks through. And I think trying to create a better environment than I was in, regardless of the social standard, that's what being a good leader is to me. Chef, what are we making today? So today we're doing a hand-rolled pasta. It's a ricotta dough. It's gonna be called a fagiolini. Basically it looks like little string beans. We're gonna do a pizzelli, which are peas. And we're gonna be doing some fried pancetta and we're gonna do like St. Joseph style. What has the pandemic taught you about your team and your cafe? Well, the pandemic has taught us a lot of things. It's allowed us to diversify our menus and simplify. It's given us an opportunity to build new avenues of revenue where originally we labeled ourselves a cafe, but we became a restaurant destination. But this pandemic has led to more of a turnover clientele. We pivoted and, and tried to adapt to the current situation. How has technology played a role in this successful pivot? Well, we work with the Lightspeed platform and it's provided us with a means to speed up the interactive process. We spend less time asking questions and more time developing relationships because the platform provides us with a seamless experience and it's been great. What is it about boxing and that training that you're drawn to? I'll tell you something about boxing. It doesn't lie to you as a sport. It's, it's almost like when you're in the kitchen in the sense where it's like you get the work that you put in and that comes with dedication. Where I wasn't smart enough, I worked hard. And where I wasn't talented enough, I worked hard. And an old boxing saying is, hard work beats talent, hard working talent beats everything. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Grazie. That's incredible. When less is more. Chef, seriously, this is insane. Thank you. What does the future hold for Mano Cornuto? Wow, what a question. You know, I guess, I guess time will tell, but if, uh, if I can put in a few words, what I hope will happen is that maybe a few other small projects, a few other passions of myself and my business partners can come together. But for the cafe, I would, I would love for it to remain and feel the same way five years, 10 years down the line. 
Gentlemen, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you for spending the day with me and giving me an inside look at the Mano Cornuto Cafe and Empire. Thank you very much. It was our pleasure.